Hello guys, this is John Zaninja and welcome back to another Windows 10 video. This time we're doing build 9879. I'm going to show you what's new right after this. <laughs> So this is build 9879 of Windows 10. Apologies for being a bit late. This should have been out on Wednesday, but I've been a bit busy this week. So first thing you'll notice in the bottom right hand side of the screen is the notification center icon has moved from here to here. Pretty insignificant change to be fair, but you know, whatever. Now over here is more significant change, which um, is that the task, bar, task view button sorry, is shown, but the search button isn't. That's because you can toggle them now which is nice because I hit the search button and now when you take both of them away it looks like Windows 8 that's because it is Windows 8 no no it isn't <laughs> okay so I like to have the task view button shown because I use that and here is the new battery icon it's um it looks like it's fallen over which is fun I guess so here is the new Insider Hub application and this shows welcome back Insider welcome to the Win Windows Insider Hub we're happy to have you here. This is a, like a little thing that shows loads of stuff about, you know, all of this stuff that no one reads. Well, I did read it and it's pretty interesting, I guess. Here's a change that a lot of people will hate. The hamburger button has replaced the three dots for the uh, app commands, which is fine. I don't mind it. It's just, it's just a menu button, but lo lots of people hate it. Now, if you'll notice, the black title bar bug is still here. And that's a... Sorry. Yeah, that's annoying, but hopefully that'll be fixed in the future to make the title bars look more like this. And as you can see, there was a nice animation there. When you minimize, now the animation is more, um, let's say, nice. And when you close, like this, the animation's much nicer. When you go between desktops by pressing Control, Windows key, and D, the animation is faster. And um, it's, I don't know... The virtual desktop animation is still pretty bad, but the other ones are much less jarring, which is nice. So let's see OneDrive changes. Oh god, yes, the OneDrive has OneDrive has been changed. A few things have been changed. Um, the placeholder files are no longer a thing, and they have this green tick on them for some reason. And there's this button in the taskbar that says OneDrive is up to date. These changes are not welcomed by a lot of people, and placeholder files were removed because. They were seen as unintuitive, but I like them and hope they will return at some point. So, as you can see here, there are new folder icons for the things. If we zoom in by going to extra large icons here, you can see new folder icons and old folder icons, to be fair. The new ones look like... The new ones look awful to me, but, you know. I, I, <laughs> this is a preview, so hopefully they'll improve in the future. So, the next thing is... Smiley face button in Internet Explorer. There's not much else to say about that. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I just I just give up at this point. Okay, so here's something cool. If you go to the registry editor and go navigate to computer, HK local machine, software, Microsoft, uh, Windows, which is here, current version, and then immersive shell, and then launcher, Right click to create a D word and call it uh, use experience. Once you've created this, click enter, change it to one, and then open task manager. Uh, yeah, open task manager, and go to Windows Explorer and press restart. And here is this will activate continuum in its very early form and it's actually quite funny. Okay, so it takes a while to load and it just crashed instantly there. And now it won't open, but uh, here it is. <laughs> this is the continuum start menu, and my gosh, what the hell is this? I am the user is Groot. The tiles can be moved, and they can have different sizes now. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. They can have a uh, different sizes now. Like for example, if you right click and hold, you can change it to four v four, or two v four, or four v two. Now. And then it just crashed. So you can see it's kind of um, work in progress, a very work in progress right now. And uh, hopefully 
next year it'll be better, I guess. So now I'm going to do the free finger tap to open the usual start menu. Go into the ZPC settings app from before and show you a new thing, which is actually uh, pretty awesome, I guess. So if you go to... No, wait. If you go to privacy, Cortana confirmed. Cortana is coming to Windows 10, and this pr pretty much proves it. They, there is still the... Hang on. There's still the docking control from last time, but it just says runtime error. Program. A application has requested the runtime to terminate it in an unusual way. So, you know, why not? And uh, there's also some bad news, actually. This is the last build of the year. There'll be no more until next year, which is going... Probably the first one's going to be the consumer preview in January. Anyway, I look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I won't be doing a bugs follow-up video this time because this one was really long. And I hope you enjoyed. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.